Well, would you look at that? It does glow. Let, let's, let's get the lights on here. That's better. Well, now I can show you what I mean. I've got a lot of other cool stuff too, so let the collecting begin. What's up guys, I'm Jason. You're watching another video right here on Phoenix Poptastic. Thank you guys so much for watching today. So let's see, I've got some cool stuff. I tried to do a chase roulette. I ordered these off of a Tom's Model Store, I think it was. It was on Amazon. I thought it was coming from Amazon. It didn't. It came from Tom's Model Store. And I did not get the chase. I was trying to get the Funko Gold Guns N' Roses Slash. So I ended up with two of them here. So I got two. These are pretty cool figures. I actually really do enjoy them. I think they're very, very awesome. I'll pop one out of the box. Again, like I've said before, I would collect these if there was more, um, I don't want to say characters, people that I know. I have the Ice Cube one, and now I have the Slash one. I mean, they're cool little figures. I would love like a, one of the big ones of Slash, like they did of Jimi Hendrix. I would totally go for that. I would buy that. I really, really would. Or James Hetfield, or any of the artists that I really like. So far, I haven't seen much that I like except for Slash and um, Ice Cube so far, the two that I do like. So I did pick that one up. I'm still trying to get the chase. I'll probably just buy it straight up aftermarket from somebody, hopefully before they get too popular and too expensive. So I'll go that route. All right, so putting that off to the side, we've got this awesome new figure from Kid Robot. It's called a Dunny, a Batman Dunny. I really think these things are really awesome. Um, in the store, I kept seeing him, and I was like, yeah, he looks cool. They were like 15 bucks, but let's see him out of box. They do come in this nice little clamshell, kind of like a pop, but they have this front cover thing part on it, which is cool. And I think these are kind of actually cool, man. They're really, really awesome looking. Little Dunny, his arms do move up and down, as you can see there. Um, head moves from side to side. Really cool kid robot figure, I dig it. The vinyl's really strong on it and everything. I think it's really cool. It's one of my first kid robot vinyls. I do have like a kid robot mini and things like that, but this is the first time I actually bought one of the actual kid robot things. Check out the graphics on the back there, very cool, and on the side, and on this side. So there's a Joker out there, I'm sure. I'm sure there's some other ones. I love the uh, color scheme of the blue and the gray with the old Batman. I think that's really cool. So it was really cool to pick up one of these. I'm glad to get one of these in my collection. Sometimes it's cool to look into other things besides Funko Pops and discover other things out there that you might interest you. I totally dig DC Comics and stuff like that. So there's other things that I think I should pick up, don't you? But I was in Walmart and I was walking to the back and I noticed this little section where they had some pop pens and I noticed a bunch of these. They are the T-Rex pop pen from Jurassic Park. Now, as you've seen in my last couple of videos, I did find the, um, what was it called? The Lophosaurus in stores, but I wasn't sure if there was a chase. I couldn't remember which one had a chase. Well, skimming through these, I was skimming through and this guy popped up. So very cool to find the pop pen chase in store at a Walmart. I was just looking through. I mean, very, very cool to find. Um, the chase is a little weird. It's all green and glittered. It's hard to tell the details, like his tongue and all that stuff. It's a little little funky, but still cool. Um, I'm not sure if I'm ever going to open these. I don't know, because I have like this thing about opening chases or things that are wrapped like this. Although I would love to get a backpack and put all the pop pens on the backpack. I want to get a bag big enough that's not too big that I can actually fit all the pop pens on. Maybe just a plain Jan Sport like black backpack would work, I think. So I might go that route, but very cool that I picked these up from Walmart. Thank you, Walmart, for putting those out right before I walked into the store. Yep, this guy. I had no idea. I bought this on clearance. Bunch of these Dilophosauruses. I know we collect Jurassic Park, but I don't think I'm going to pick up the pens unless it's like a chase or something. Ooh, ooh. I'm going to pick that up because it's on clearance for $4.99. I love clearance. Clearance is my favorite. Was just a little find I saw there, so I picked it up. And I had mentioned like disc trackers on Instagram and other places have posted this same pin, but with a only at Target sticker right here. And I've never seen that in store. I look all the time. 
And I saw online when disc trackers and stuff that the only at Target sticker one was glow in the dark. And I was like, oh, they came out with a common and then a glow in the dark. Well, I'm going to find the glow in the dark because no use in picking up the common. That's like just picking up T-Rex and never getting the chase. You should get both if there's a variant as far as that goes. Or if it's a glow in the dark and not a chase, I would just get the glow in the dark instead of the common. So that's what was my goal was, was to find the glow in the dark one. I looked everywhere and then I saw this on clearance for four dollars and whatever cents so I decided to buy it. And then this guy gives me this comment right here on the screen telling me that I should be smarter and know that uh, all the jokers are glow in the dark. What? Are you serious? So I had to run. It was like one of those TikToks where you know you're like really? And then you go and you run you do it and you're like oh my god and yes yes absolutely this guy is completely glow in the dark like his face glows in the dark it is glow in the dark i had no idea so all of those joker pins at target are glow in the dark they don't need a sticker so i guess target was the only ones that was getting these and they were all glow in the dark who knew i didn't know now i know wow go figure there's lots of things that collectors do we're not all the smartest collectors at all I figure out new stuff every day. I learn new stuff every day. I'm being told things. I say things that you guys come back to and we, we explain it to each other and we figure it all out together because we're all collecting and it's all fun and it's a great community if you do that. So I appreciate that person for pointing out that they are all glow in the dark. That's really cool. Hey, this T-Rex doesn't glow in the dark or anything, does he weird? No, no, he doesn't. I hope you guys enjoy it and we'll see you next time on Phoenix Poptastic. You're still here? The video's over. Click one of these. Go ahead.